Hi everybody, it's Wednesday night, 6 p.m. It is Q&A Wednesday. I just wanted to tune in real quick and answer a question that we had for this week. Um, you know, I find it really fascinating how much time people spend in the gym. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what's appropriate. Um, you know, sometimes it overwhelms people about how much time they think they should spend in the gym. And so we just want to take a few minutes and talk about what's appropriate and how much time you think that you should spend in the gym. So let's get right to it. Um, hopefully you're all safe and warm at home tonight. Um, so I want to answer this question because there's a lot of opinions on how much time is appropriate at the gym. Now I know some of you actually probably spend time working out at home and that's great, um, but I see a lot of chatting at the gym. And to be honest, when I go to the gym, I put my headphones on and I kind of put my focus on and I don't want to talk to people. I just want to get in and get done and get out. Um, so here's my response to how much time that you should spend in the gym. It, it really, of course, it really depends on what your goals are at the moment. Um, so what I'm going to tell you is what, how much time you should spend at the gym is as much time as you need to get your workout done, right? Uh, but not so much time that you are, you feel like you don't want to go back, right? So if you're kind of spending hours at the gym and finding that it's really tough to make it back to the gym because it's taking you two, three hours to get your workout done, it's probably not appropriate for you. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I don't think you need that much time. Now, this is completely um, life according to Melissa. This is my opinion. Um, I think people spend a lot of time, I get it. Like, it's your refuge. Um, you know, you need that time to get away. I think when I'm at the gym, I can turn off the world and I really like that. Uh, but honestly, I don't really feel like you need that much time. Um, here's the so here's the layout that I give new clients. Really, when you get to the gym, you should have like a five minute warm up where you know, a little bit of cardio, get your heart rate up, get warm, or maybe do a lighter set of, of whatever it is, that, the exercise that you're going to do. And then 35 to 45 minutes of lifting. Um, if you're only making it a couple of days a week, you might have to do a little bit longer because you're trying to accomplish more. Uh, but if you're there four or five days a week, you really don't need more than that. And to be honest, what I'm gonna tell you is get in there, pump up and get out. You really just don't need to spend more, more time than that. Um, you know, and then maybe if you're gonna do cardio afterwards, you might spend 30 minutes of cardio after that. Honestly, if you really are short on time, you can get your entire workout done in one hour and spend one hour at the gym. Um, it's possible. I have days where literally I walk in with 35 minutes, I put my headphones on, I give the don't talk to me look. Um, it's kind of mean, but that's just what it is. Um, and I get my I get my stuff done. So, you know, that's, that's kind of my opinion on that. I know people like to spend time there, but I really think that some things happen when you spend too much time at the gym. I think it's really easy to get burned out. Um, there is such thing as overtraining. Hi, everybody. I see some great people I know. I just want to wave really quick. Um, you know, if you're spending too long at the gym, it is easy to get burned out. And sometimes you can tell that things are happening. You don't sleep as well. Um, you start to get kind of crabby during the day. Um, you actually lose your appetite uh, when you're working out too hard and not get, taking enough rest. You have to remember that when you're trying to, to change your shape or build muscle, that it's not just the workouts that that are part of that, the, the lifting and the breaking down of the muscle, it's actually the recovery time, the rest. Um, you build muscle while you sleep. And so if you're consistently going in and killing it every night um, and not taking the time to recover, you're not gonna get where you wanna go. So. time in the gym and you're not starting to see results, it might be that you're doing too much. Um, so keep that in mind. If you're not sure, ask a qualified trainer or somebody who um, you know is, is a, uh, has a lot of experience in lifting um, or you know taking time in the gym or somebody whose shape you admire. You know, if you want to look like somebody, that's the person to ask. Sorry about that. God, you know what? Every time I try to use the Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi just starts to get really, really weak there. So I don't know what's going on there. But um, so back to what we were talking about. Okay. So we talked a little bit about, you know, what's appropriate in the gym. I just have um, some great tips on that. By the way, you know, if you're really short on time, um, you know, there's, it's, it's okay once in a while to do a full body workout. My opinion is it's, if you're trying to really grow, especially a specific area, um, it's really difficult to grow that area. If you're consistently doing full body, it's really difficult for your body to have to recover cover the entire thing over and over and over again. Um, it's, it's, it, again, it really depends on your goals. So I'm not going to say that as a blanket statement. Um, but you know, if I'm really trying to build shoulders and I'm consistently doing full body workouts every day, my shoulders aren't really going to get the attention that they need. So keep that in mind. Also, something that I really think is important. If you're really struggling to get your cardio in because of time, um, do, do a high intensity interval training, do 20 minutes, get your heart rate up, and then bring it down and then get your heart rate up. You don't have to work out 
or do the cardio is nearly as long. Um, you know, you can burn the same amount of calories in a very short amount of time. Plus the residual effect of the burn afterwards is actually a much better response. Um, so HIIT training is, is definitely a great option. So um, one thing I wanted to tell you that if you're going to the gym consistently and you're not seeing results, there is something missing in your equation. Okay, um, whether that's the nutrition's not spot on, whether there's too much stress in your life, um, you know, the way that I like to work is kind of plan out a formula, know exactly what I'm doing, and honestly, guys, that requires tracking, not just your food, but what you're doing in the gym, so that if you can lay that out, look at your formula, and say, wow, there's just something not working, then you can actually pick a variable that you need to change and see what response you get from that. So, you know, keep that in mind that if you're not seeing results, something's up, you might have to lay it out in front of somebody with fresh eyes to see what's going on there. Okay, so just had some great tips, unless somebody has some great questions. Um, I just had a few um, tips of how I feel about going to the gym and things that have really worked for me over time. I'm a busy woman. Um, you know, I, I run my business, which is expanding by the way. Woo -woo. Um, you know, I do all the paperwork for my husband's business. I've got five kids, I, I stay pretty busy. So when I'm at the gym, I have to be efficient. I have to be in and out and get my workout done. So here's a couple of tips that I came up with. Number one, when you walk in the gym, have a plan, right? If you walk in the gym and you're still going, oh, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna do legs today. Oh, maybe I'm gonna, and then you start to have a conversation with somebody, you know, you're already derailed. You're not gonna get as much done. Um, it's, it's too easy to not be focused. Um, number two, don't go to the gym to be social. And, and if you're going to, then make that your plan. Uh, but if you're gonna be social, you're not gonna get a good workout in, you're not gonna get anything done. I get it, some people, that is their goal. Go to the gym, hit on some guys, whatever, that's your deal. But that's not what I wanna accomplish when I'm there. When I get in there, I don't even wanna have a conversation. Um, I actually will pick a gym according to how quiet I think it is, just because I don't wanna have a conversation, I just wanna get my workout in. So if you wanna have a social hour, that's fine. Uh, just know that to me, that's just not efficient. Um, the other one is, you know, really be careful how long you're resting between sets. You start texting or get distracted by your phone or, you know, what the guy next to you is doing. Um, again, you're just, you're going to be in there way much longer than you need. And to be honest, if I lose my pump, I'm kind of done anyway. So I don't want to get distracted. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, also, don't be afraid to change up your order of what your plan is for that day. Um, you know, sometimes you get to the gym and it's a way busier than you expected it to be. Um, unless you have a specific routine that has to be in that order, you know, you might just have to jump around just a little bit in order to get all the equipment that you want. Also, don't be afraid to walk over to somebody who's taking over a piece of equipment and not giving it up <laughs> and saying, dude, how long are you gonna be there? Can I work in? right because at some point we talked about that a few weeks ago with gym etiquette it's really not appropriate for them to sit on a piece of equipment for 45 minutes i i think it's really rude um there's other people there especially when it's busy so keep that you know keep that on in your head that it's okay to do that um here's the other thing when you're done go home when you've sufficiently gotten a workout and you feel like you've gotten a workout, you don't need to, there's no certain amount of activities that you need to do. As a matter of fact, when I work with people, I tell them, especially like on leg day, man, six, seven exercises, go home. There's really no benefit to continuing to beat a dead horse. Get in, get done, go home. Um, most of you know that once you work a body, a muscle group, probably should give that a rest period before you work it again, especially if you've worked it really hard. 48 hours between muscle groups um, is your best bet. Give it a rest, let it recover, let it build, let it, your body do its job. Make sure you get the right nutrients, the right ingredients in your system in order to build out those muscles um, and get enough sleep. That is super important. Um, the other thing, you don't have to be dead every time you work out. there's It's not appropriate five days a week to kill yourself, walk out of there, go home to feel like you got a good workout. I know that it feels good. I know that you feel like, yeah, I got it done. However, how is your body gonna keep up um, with recovery? It just can't keep up if you're, if you're Breaking it down faster than your body can rebuild, um, you're never gonna you're never gonna get where you want to go, and you're not gonna get that build that you're that you're looking for. Um, we just talked about recovery is just as important as lifting. Um, also, I work with a lot of people that are really starting from scratch. They've never lifted before. Um, some people are intimidated by the gym, and they might be doing body weight work from home, and that isn't fantastic. You know, my thought process is just get up and move. However, at some point. Body weight exercises to an extent are gonna kind of just level out. You're not gonna get 
any further, um, at some point, be okay looking for um, a gym that works for you. You're going to have to get past that a little bit in order to continue to, to um, progress. So, um, you know, I'm okay with you finding a gym that works for you. I tell people it needs to be convenient and it needs to be comfortable. So, you know, that's why I love being able to train at the gym I do because it doesn't require a membership. So I can have people go anywhere. I'm trying to teach them how to use the gym that they um, have chosen because it is convenient and, and comfortable to them. Um, so um, the, the last thing I want to tell you is that you really need to focus on your form versus how heavy you can lift. Um, it does you absolutely no good to lift, you know, I'm macho and I can lift 50 pounds if it's not actually putting the, mu the demand on the muscle that you're trying to build. So keep in mind, I, it's not just um, the look of it. Yes, the mirror is important, but where do you feel it? Are you getting the right muscle to engage? Do you need to drop weight down in order to get the right muscle to do the job or are all the compensating muscles doing the job for it instead? So, you know, I think that the gym should be a good experience. Your workout should be a good experience. Um, you know, of course, my goal is I want you to reach your goals. I want you to get where you want to go. Make sure that you're being efficient. If you're going to spend the time, the energy, and the money um, to be in the gym and to get, get healthy, I would say be efficient. You know, spend the time, but make sure the time is spent very, very well. So, um, Hi, Brianna. How are you? Um, so next week, super excited. Next week, we actually have a guest speaker. Oh my gosh. I just had an epiphany one day. Um, it's going to be super exciting. I will give you more information before next Wednesday so that you can know that you want to tune into this. It will be at a special time just because I have to be able to meet with her. Um, so it will be at 630 next Wednesday instead of 6. I'm hoping the weather gets better. I'm ready for bikini season and everything it brings with it. I would like to wear flip-flops at this point. I'm just ready. So uh, anyway, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I didn't have any pop-up today, uh, but I love when I get emails or when people tell me, you know, in passing, hey, I'd love for you to answer this question next Wednesday because that's how I um, pick and choose what I want to talk about because it's important to people. So have an incredible night. Um, if you want to, you can also email me at melissa at fillmorefitness.com. I want you to be looking for some incredible stuff coming up. Uh, we're doing some crazy big things and I'm super excited to share all those things with you. So until then, everybody have an incredible night, stay warm and have a fantastic week.